Hello everyone, this is Raghavendra Prasad and welcome to my channel. In this video lecture, I will explain about the steam turbine. A steam turbine is a prime mover that extracts thermal energy from pressurized steam and uses it to do mechanical work on a rotating output shaft and it consists of a rotor or disc and a set of rotating blades which are attached to a shaft. An electric generator known as steam turbine generator is connected to the rotor shaft which collects the mechanical energy from the shaft and converts it into electrical energy. The first steam turbine was invented by Greek mathematician Hiron or Hero of Alexandria in 120 BC. The first modern steam turbine was made by Sir Charles Parsons in the year 1884 and the design has been changed so many times. Working principle of the steam turbine depends on the dynamic action of a steam. In impulse steam turbine, there are some fixed nozzles and moving blades present on a disc mounted on a shaft. Moving blades are in symmetrical order called as symmetric blades. Basically, in a steam turbine, pressure energy of steam is converted into kinetic energy by allowing the steam to flow through one or more number of fixed plates or fixed nozzles. Due to high pressure drop in the nozzles, the velocity of steam increases. A high velocity steam is coming out from the nozzle, strikes the rotating blades which are fitted on the disc or rotor mounted on a shaft. This high velocity steam produces dynamic pressure and also applies impulsive force on the blades. Due to change in momentum, turbine shaft starts rotating in the direction of applied force. This rotation is called mechanical energy. Turbine generator collects the mechanical energy and converts it into electrical energy. The pressure of the steam will be theoretically constant over a moving set of blades. At the exit point of the turbine, the pressure will be close to atmospheric and velocity energy would be very low. A reaction turbine has rows of fixed blades alternating with rows of moving blades. The steam expands first in the fixed plates where it gains some velocity as pressure drops in it and which can be called as nozzle effect. Then steam enters the moving blades where its direction of flow changes thus producing an impulse force on the moving blades. In addition, however, the steam upon passing through the moving blades again expands and further drops in pressure giving a reaction force to the blades. For this to happen, the reaction turbine blades will be made asymmetrical in shape. In this turbine, steam produces both impulsive and reaction forces. And the reaction force is an unbalanced force. The resultant force on the rotor is the vector sum of impulsive and reaction forces. The main feature of this type of turbine is that, in contrast with the impulse turbine, the pressure drop per stage is lower. So the blades become smaller and the number of stages increases. On the other hand, reaction turbines are usually more efficient because they have higher isentropic turbine efficiency. The steam turbines are widely used in both power generation and process industries. Also has discussed the impulse and reaction turbines are used in all type of applications. But when compared with the reaction turbine, impulse types are most widely used. 